Okay, so are you excited to see a... Um, here, I'm just going to get my settings right. Hopefully we're all good. I can't imagine why they wouldn't be bad. You can hear me, right? Okay. Anyway, qu three quick things. Um, I'm going to draw a triangle here. <laughs> I think I'm going to draw a triangle. Cool. Here's a triangle. That happens to be a right triangle. This one is not a right triangle. They're both triangles. Here's another triangle. Do you already know something about triangles? I'm just asking you because in the past you've probably been told that three angles, that's the angle here, here, and here. If you add them up, you always get the same answer. If you take these three, you add them up. Or if you take these three, you always get the same thing. Do you remember what it is? 180 degrees. Okay, Degrees are how we measure angles, and I'm sure you've been taught that before. So if you look at an angle and you take a protractor, uh, you're measuring in something called degrees. But we're not really going into that detail right now. We're just talking that the fact that a triangle always adds up to 180 degrees. Are you okay with that? All right. If you're not, stop and come talk to me, okay? Now, if you know that a triangle adds up to 180 degrees on the inside, let's take another shape here. Let's try a square. There it is. What you can do, if you want to know how many, I mean, we, all, we know that this is 90 degrees here, 90, 90, and 90. And 90 degrees times 4 is 360 degrees, okay, if we take all four sides. But let's pretend you didn't know these were all 90 degrees. Here's a way you can do this for shapes that are called polygons that have more than four sides. But let's just do it for a, a, a square first. Start with one, take one spot, and just draw as many triangles as you can. Well, you can't go that way. You can go this way. And you can't go this way because there's already a line there. So you have one, two triangles. So you just go two triangles times 180 degrees because each triangle adds up to 180 degrees. It's going to be 360 degrees. Okay? Let's try another shape. I'm going to the top here in my goodie bag. Let's try this one. Okay, you see it there? Well, start from a corner and say, how many triangles can you draw? Well, there's one. Always start from the same spot right there. It doesn't really matter which spot, just keep going from the same one. How many triangles do you see? That's all we can do. One, two, three. On your calculator, just go three times 180. And all of the angles on the inside of this, this is called a pentagon, add up to 540 degrees. That is called the sum, that means that's like the total, of the interior, just like the interior of a car, the inside angles, the sum of the interior angles, okay? is 540 for a pentagon. Now notice this is a special kind of pentagon here. This is called a regular. I'm just going to write that down too because that's a word you're going to see sometimes. It's called a regular pentagon and the word regular in this situation just means that all the sides are the exact same length. Okay? So if I draw another one, I'm going to draw one again. That's called a regular pentagon because all the sides are the same. I could draw another pentagon that looks like this. Sorry about my bad drawing. This is supposed to be a straight line here. But this is a pentagon too. It's just not a regular pentagon because these sides are not all the same length. Okay, so let's go on to another shape. Um, let's, I'm going to get a regular, well, let's see, octagon. Some of you have heard of the octagon because you watch the UFC. Um, so what you do is you just pick a corner. Let's pick right here. And just start drawing as many triangles as you can. There's one. There's two. There's three. Four. Five lines. How many triangles? One, two, three, four, five. There's six triangles. Okay? So... 6 times 180 is what? 6 times 180 equals 1080. 
That sounds like a video game. 1080 degrees is the sum of the interior angles of this uh, regular octagon. Okay? And you can use this technique on non-regular shapes too, okay? I forgot to mention that. So this pentagon that we drew over here, it still works. There's three triangles and it works. 540 degrees. It's all good. So I want to I want you to figure out a way that you can do this quickly. I can just say, "Hey, an eight-sided shape, also called an octagon, what's the sum of the interior angles? How could you do that quickly? Well, you know it's something times 180. Well, guess what? The number that goes here is really quick. If you have an eight-sided shape, you get six triangles. So you write the six there, and that's how you get the, the 1080. Can you guess? Let's say I gave you a... Uh, a ten-sided shape. A ten-sided shape. How many triangles could you get in a ten-sided shape? Well, I'll give you a hint. You got six triangles when you had an eight-sided shape. Okay, I hear the person in the back saying, hey, six is two less than eight, so if I have a ten-sided shape, I'm going to end up with eight triangles. And if you don't believe me, you can draw a ten-sided shape out and see if you really get that. Um, do you want me to do that? No. Really? Okay. Look at, there's a 10-sided shape. And uh, let's do it. Let's see if we get eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then there's eight right there, okay? So now you believe me? If they give you a 10-sided shape, just take off two, just say I'm going to minus two, and that gives me eight triangles. And each triangle is 180 degrees, so eight times 180, you get your, you get your big number. You get the sum of the interior angles. Okay, so that is interior angles and how to find them. So, I don't know, there's a, I guess you could say there's a formula. Take the number of sides and minus two. And that will be the number of triangles that you'll get. All right. Hopefully you can't hear people talking too loud in the background. But uh, hopefully you can hear me just fine. I'm sure you can. That is how you find the sum of interior angles of a, triang <laughs> of a polygon. A polygon being a shape with more than three or more sides. I hope you get it. Cool.